Hey guys, how's it going? Joshua back here with another video, man. Your favorite Canadian shoe tuber out in Surrey. <laughs> I feel like I'm the only one. But anyways, man, I got a, a pickup for you guys that I'm excited to share. They are a pair of Nikes. Uh, we're transitioning over to a little bit of the Nike today from uh, the Boosts. I'm such a big fan, but you know, best to switch it up. So yeah, with these, with this pair, it's, it's a woman pair. All right, so I, I have no shame in wearing women's shoes. Uh, if, if they look good and they feel good, then sure, why not, you know? So, yeah, without any further ado, I'd like to introduce you guys to this box right here. I guess before I show you the shoe, I'll show you part of the box. It is a Vapor Max. All right, now nah, it looks nice in the camera, actually. Cool, so, so yeah, uh, a little bit about the shoe. Uh, I, I've been meaning to try this on because uh, they were mentioning that these shoes were somewhat comfortable especially for the bigger size man they were going for 250 for retail and then they dropped down the suggested price to 114 this is all in uh, Canadian currency by the way uh, yeah with the 30% off I, I didn't pay more than what 120 120 for these all right let's get into the shoe guys so this is a woman's vapor max 2019 version in a luminous green all right so a very 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 glossy very very sexy luminous green i mean to me first hands uh, i was like yo i do do want a pair of vapor maxes and i guess all the colors for the men's weren't really catching my attention but these definitely did us I, I just told myself randomly hey you know what uh, let me let me just check out the women's section right quick see if there's anything and then boom out of nowhere in a size 11 in women's these popped out and i'm like no let me try these on Right, and I wasn't really sure about my size with regards to Nike because I'm kind of all over the place. I mean, I got a pair of uh, Nike Air Forces that are in a size nine, and I got these in a size 11, which is what a size nine and a half, nine and a half, ten in men's. So yeah, these are it, you guys. These are the Vapor Maxes. So starting off with the top portion of the shoe, man, you got uh, like they said in the box the luminous green colorway uh to me it's neon to everyone else i don't know you know maybe i'm colorblind who knows but yeah like i said translucent neon green upper and then there is a inner layer there's an inner fabric layer if you could tell if you could see here uh it is a different shade of the luminous green or neon green whatever you want to call it and along the shoe here it, you could kind of see the different hints and shades of the similar color with different panels that are kind of stitched together. If you look here, right at the top of the tongue, you guys got a Nike patch here. You got the logo here and then you got the air underneath it. And then a few few things, a few wordings on here. I'm not entirely sure. Same color, white rope laces with uh, the white hoops along the side here. And on the midfoot, if you could kind of see down here, you got the Nike logo right here as well as the cage that's hidden underneath the top layer. Uh, it is a little wider than the previous versions from what I've seen and it definitely hugs your foot a lot better. And then coming to the back right here, nice little heel counter here, keeps it very sturdy for uh, maximum support and stability, very nice. And then through the back you got yourself the white heel tab and a bit of suede, I think, right here by the heel portion. Nice look. And then uh, along here it says Vapor Max, right around there. Wow, the camera's picking it up today. Very, very nice. Coming to the bottom, the rocket ships, the weird little bubbly things, these little Tide Pods that everybody's been eating at the bottom. All right, and I heard they were filled, not with air, but they were filled with nitrogen. Apparently, I mean I looked it up in another video uh, and that helps it with its uh, longevity It will go beyond 500 miles according to a few videos that I watched It's basically a clear sole all around if you look a little closer you get a little bit of Speckles, I think if I'm not blind. Yeah, there's a little bit of speckles Obviously, this is a woman's shoe. So they try to throw a little bit of fancy fancy glossy look here for the women, but you know you got me sporting these. But to me, nowadays, I think all shoes are basically unisex, you know? This was definitely an eye-opener for me. That made me go, what the hell, the first time I saw it. And I still feel that way now whenever I see these. 
And um, don't get me wrong, this isn't my first time wearing this pair. I did try them on, I think last year or maybe two years ago when I was out in the outlets in Richmond. And I put my foot in the shoes and the moment I put them on, I'm like, no, no. Because the reason why, I guess, you know, one, I didn't really give it a chance. And two, I was so accustomed to having that boost feel. So it was kind of rude on my end to just give up like that. But you know what, I, I did look up on reviews and turns out that they do get comfortable over time with what everyone else was saying. I, I wore them out the store. I was like, okay, you know what? Let me walk around in these for a little bit in the store. And if I liked them, then I ended up grabbing them and I did. So I walked out with those and they were a little clunky to begin with, you know, just getting uh, used to the shoes, slowly breaking them in. Uh, me and two, my two other friends were sneaker hunting that day, so we switched over to Richmond. And the more steps I took, the more I realized like, hey, this is getting really comfy. The way I look at this shoe, I feel like it, they do say it's a runner, but I think it's more of a lifestyle feel because uh, just the way everything is set up and uh, it was definitely comfortable pulling the laces in, definitely hugged your foot really, really well and I could feel the stability from the heel counterpart all the way up into the front. But yeah, I mean, visually and aesthetically, it does look like a runner, but I, I could feel like I could twist my ankles in these. I don't feel safe running in these, but I definitely will be able to walk in these. So so yeah, that, with that being said, I'm just gonna use these for casual wear. According to uh, the people on how they fit, uh, uh, they say true to size. And I, I think I agree, I guess I agree. It's, it's definitely uh, good for wide footers too because it doesn't really hug your foot and the material like this, it won't give your feet a hard time. So yeah, I'm a big fan of that. I'm a wide footer and yeah, you know, everything just spoke out to me that day and I don't regret buying these guys. So that's gonna do it, man. That is the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any suggestions on what you uh, would like to see me pick up if I can, right? I also do live jobs, I do unboxing videos, I, I go through the stores to see if there's any steals like these, which is awesome. Super fan of these, man, and they definitely show out too when you, when you style them out. So, yeah, man, uh, be sure to subscribe, man. Leave a comment down below on what you feel about these shoes and let me know if you guys wear women's shoes as well. There's no shame in that. I have a channel with my girlfriend. I also do jujitsu on the side as well. Be sure to check those channels out, man, and I'll leave the links down in the description. Thank you guys so much. These are the Nike Vapor Max 2019 Special Editions, and I'm Josh, signing out.